Okay, so today I have my American haul for you. I did a fair bit of shopping whilst I went to Orlando um, last week, so I thought I'd show you exactly what I bought because I always love watching American hauls because it's quite good to see some different things that we can't buy over in the UK. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. Um, basically, I did um, kind of did like malls, went to the Florida mall which was about five, um, no it was actually about a ten minute drive from our hotel so that was quite close and the mall was probably the biggest mall that I've ever seen in my whole entire life, it was absolutely huge. We also went to a premium outlet village which is kind of like Cheshire Oaks or Bista. Um, where it's got like designer shops at discount prices. I didn't really find too much there and then also I did some drugstore shopping as well. So that was like the three main places that I did the majority of my shopping. So starting with the premium outlet place, like I said I didn't really do too well. Um, they had a bath and body works however and I did go a little bit crazy with the hand sanitizers. They were five for five dollars, which I thought was quite good, and I just absolutely love hand sanitizers. Kind of obsessed with them, so I got five different flavors. So I got this one, which is called Honolulu Sun, which is all kind of fruity. Um, got Purple Paradise. Um, they all got like little beads inside them as well, which is quite cool. Coconut Cabana, and you should all know that coconut's my favorite scent, so I was definitely going to pick that one up. Also got a stress relief one because I thought that would be. Quite interesting to see if that works for maybe I'm having a stressful day at work or if I'm out and about and getting stressed and I can just pop it on my hands and see if it relaxes me at all. I don't think it will but I thought it was quite a cool idea. And then finally Caribbean Escape which is again more like coconutty smell. So I picked them up because I thought they were quite cool and I took five dollars that was quite cheap as well. The shopping that I did at the mall. First of all I went to Victoria's Secret which obviously I was going to head to because even though we've got about three in the UK now I think, they're still quite a novelty to me. Um, but to be honest I was quite disappointed. I went with the pink striped pyjamas in mind, I decided I really wanted them. But they didn't have my size and when I actually looked at them the cotton ones didn't seem to be um, that amazing quality and they didn't have any of the satin ones. So I was a bit disappointed with that. But what I did pick up was... I picked up two phone cases. So this is going to seem a bit strange but kind of hear me out. I've been eyeing up this phone case for so long and I've just not been able to find it anywhere like online or anything. Becky from Milk Bubble Tea has this phone case and I think she got it off eBay and I just fell in love with it and I was like I need that phone case in my life. Anyway so I managed to pick it up from Victoria's Secret but my phone is due for an upgrade in literally about a month's time so I didn't want to get the iPhone 4 and then think I've got the iPhone 5. I'm going to like change to that and then I'm not going to have the phone case. So I bought iPhone 5 and an iPhone 4 which is probably a bit mad but whatever. So yeah I got them and they were only $16 each which I thought was quite good because that works out about £9 and I really liked the phone case. So I picked them up like I might, I don't know, I might sell it or just keep the iPhone 4 when I get the iPhone 5 one but yeah I just thought I'll get both of them because I just really really love this case and when I really like a phone case that's me like stuck with it for about two years. I also made the obviously the, the stop to Sephora and I love Sephora, it's kind of like a playground for any person who loves beauty but I always find it a bit overwhelming and there wasn't really anything that I really wanted in there because Sephora I find is quite expensive. Um, so what I did buy though because I had been recommended these, I bought a Sephora Formula X nail polish because you can't have these shipped over because of like rules and stuff. So I picked this shade up which is called Frillin and it's basically like an off-white grady nude colour and I just absolutely love these colours. So I picked that up because I thought that was quite cool. Apparently the formula is meant to be amazing. To be honest I wish I picked up more because they were only about $6 but at the time I just, just picked up that one. And then I also picked up a dry nail, um, nail drying spray also by the Formula X brand. So I thought this would be quite interesting to try because I'm a real fidget when it comes to like my nails. And I always like try sick feet and that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd try the drying spray and just see if that works at all. Um, so yeah, so I picked those up from Sephora. Next I headed to Pink, which is also like Victoria's Secret. And I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to buy, but um, I ended up buying something. Ended up getting this hoodie because I always love, well, it's not really a hoodie because it doesn't have um, so it's a jumper really. I always love the pink hoodies and jumpers but just never get around to buying it and I just absolutely love this maroon colour. 
and I just thought it would be a perfect jumper for like chilling around the house or walking Frankie when this weather's kind of in between at the moment and it's just so soft inside so yeah I picked that up from pink because I know that I will probably wear that quite a lot and I haven't got very many like hoodies or jumpers at the moment and I thought that was quite a cool one so I picked that up. Next up is a American drugstore haul. Now we went to Walgreens because there's one literally about two minutes down the road from our hotel and I have to say I, I don't think I've been into Walgreens before we've done like Duane Reed and CVS and when we went into Walgreens it was just like amazing. I was like a kid in a sweet shop. I was just walking around the aisles like oh my god look at that, look at this. It was just incredible. In a weird kind of way, I did turn around to Henry and say, is it weird that I find this place more magical than Disney World, which probably is a little bit strange. But being the weirdo that I am, I just absolutely loved it, and I just love seeing all the different things that you could get. So, what did I get from the drugstore? First of all, I picked up this Revlon Colour Burst Balm Stain, which we have over here. But I got the Colour Charm. Now, this was quite big a couple of years ago, and I remember thinking about picking it up and I couldn't get hold of it because they don't sell it in the UK so I finally picked it up this time it's basically like a peachy nude colour, it's quite light but um, it's quite a nice colour so I picked that up I suddenly saw it and thought oh I remember a lot of people talking about charm back in the day so I thought I would give that a go I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow which is the colour Bronze Taupe and we don't have this in the UK either this shade I do like these eyeshadows, they're really pressed and they're really pigmented and Laura from Bell's Boutique was like Cora if there's one thing you buy you need to buy this eyeshadow she's like it's absolutely amazing so I made sure this was like top of my list because I just knew that I would like it and it's just a really gorgeous like bronzy brown you can put it on its own, you can put it in the crease, it's just incredible so really like that, it's really pigmented but I'm sure it will last like a really long time as well I also picked up a Covergirl mascara, I picked up the Lush Blast 24 hour. Now I got really confused with these mascaras, I didn't know where to start at all. I knew that the Covergirl mascaras have got quite a lot of hype around them but I just didn't know where to go. And in my confusion I managed to pick up a bloody brown one which was a bit rubbish. But to be honest once it's on my lashes you can't really tell if it's brown so I'm not really too bothered and I'm sure that this will be quite nice for a daytime one. It's it's an okay mascara, it's not like something to really kind of sing, you know, write home about. I wouldn't say rush out and buy it. Um, but with, when you like curl your eyelashes, it's quite nice, it makes your lashes quite long. So I picked that up as well to just try something a little bit different. Next, the other stuff that I've got is either to do with teeth or sweet. So I picked up this Crest 3D White toothpaste because again Laura told me that it was really good and I'm kind of me and Henry are both really obsessed with like whitening toothpaste so we picked this up because we don't have this back home we just thought it looked quite interesting so I got that in the hope that it might make my teeth a little bit whiter. So I bought that at the beginning of the holiday and then the last day of the holiday I treated myself to some of the 3D Crest white strips. Now these are I've got quite a big hype around them but obviously we can't get them in the UK like you can get them from eBay and places like that but I've never really kind of trusted eBay as like a seller for stuff that you put on your teeth so I thought you know what I've got some money left let's give them a go so yeah I picked them up I'm not sure it's sure if they're going to work or anything but I'll give them a go and I'll let you know because like we're just obsessed with whitening our teeth really so I got some of the most the coveted white strips so have to see how they are so hopefully they won't make my teeth too sensitive because I know that is like quite a similar like symptom of them not symptom but what it causes. Next, I bought loads and loads of M&M's because I'm obsessed with M&M's. So I bought like two peanut butter ones because these are incredible. My mum usually gets me those for Christmas and they're just amazing. I got some birthday cake M&M's. Like what is a birthday cake M&M? But I had to get some to obviously try so I could see. And then I got some pretzel M&M's because I'm obsessed with pretzels covered in chocolate. And I've had these before and they are incredible. So I got them. Also found these Nutella and Goes, which are basically like the breadsticks with Nutella, which is just amazing. I had a pack when I was over there, and I was like, these are like the best invention ever. Why don't we have these over here? The UK needs to get these. They are amazing. So I got them, and you get loads of Nutella as well. They're not stingy with the Nutella. You get so much. And then finally, I got a random pink USB cable, which is a bit random, but I thought it was quite pretty. So... There we go. I picked up this body spray um, in Walgreens, which is Body Fantasy Signature Cotton Candy. So yeah, I picked this up because I managed to leave all my perfume at home like a bit of a donut. So I needed like I wanted some body spray for throughout the week. 
And yeah, it smells like cotton candy, smells really, really sweet and yeah, just I really like that because I love sweet smells so I picked that up too. Finally, um, a couple more purchases. So I've made a very naughty big purchase whilst I was over in America and I've been thinking about it for a while and I decided to get it whilst I was in America because they're so much cheaper than they are in the UK and it was kind of like a treat to myself for getting a new job and that kind of stuff basically. So I did have a little splurge and I did buy myself a MacBook Air. Um, so I've been thinking about getting a MacBook for so long because we have got a desktop one but I found that I've been in the evenings and stuff, I've been kind of reluctant to go on it because obviously it's, you have to sit at a desk and when you've been sitting at a desk all day I just found myself not wanting to go on it and then that meant that I wasn't really editing videos and like blog posts and I realised that I was falling behind and I was like, like obviously this is not good and I decided that I've been wanting a MacBook for a while, that one that I can take away with me and like I can travel and I thought it would be quite good for work and stuff. So I decided to go for the MacBook Air, it's the 13 inch one because I thought the 11 inch one would be too small and it was a lot cheaper over in the US which is obviously why I picked it up there. And so far I am absolutely loving it, it's so so light, it's amazing and I've already like edited like five videos on here and like blog posts and stuff like that so I'm sure that I'm going to use it so so much. Okay. Now to add to the luxury purchase I also picked up a sleeve for it because I wanted to make sure it had a case so it was like well protected. And in the Apple store, they had this Michael Kors case. And you all know that I'm kind of obsessed with Michael Kors, so I just could not resist it. So I got the black and gold version. They also had a grey and silver, but we decided that the black one would be better because the grey would probably get quite dirty. So I picked this up as well. And I just knew that at least it just fits in there like that. And there you go. I, just, I wanted to get like a nice case for it. So obviously it's an expensive item, so I wanted to make sure it was... Well looked after and doesn't get scratched, so there you go, my Michael Kors sleeve and MacBook, which is a very naughty purchase, but I don't make massive purchases very often, and I'm going to get back to saving my money now, so I thought it was too good to not get whilst I was over there. So we were at the airport, we were delayed by about four hours, which was a bit of a bummer, but it did mean that I got to raid the news agents there, which again was kind of like the drugstore, like more enjoyable for me than what it should have been. So put up some snacks, I got these flips, which are milk chocolate covered pretzels, like I said, I love chocolate covered pretzels, and we used to have these back in the day. Apparently you can get them from like Tesco and places now, but I've not seen them in the UK for a very long time. So I was quite excited to see these because I used to love these when I was little and I was literally like devastated when they stopped selling them. So I picked them up and we also got, oh look, some more M&Ms. These are just the normal milk chocolate ones that we were going to share on the plane and we never got around to sharing. And then finally I picked up Allure which is obviously the beauty magazine which we can't get over here. I did subscribe last year to this on my iPad but the subscriptions now run out and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick up the actual paper version whilst I'm in the UK, the US actually. Um, I've not actually read it yet, we can read it on the plane but I ended up just sleeping most of the way home. So I'm looking forward to reading that because what's not to love about a magazine about So that was my American haul. It doesn't seem like I did buy that much but I know I did buy that much which is weird. Obviously the rest of the stuff that I bought was presents for people and I'm not really going to show them because I don't want to ruin the surprise. So yeah, so that was my haul. We had such an amazing time in Orlando and I really hope that you liked the vlogs that we did. I know that we're not like the most amazing vloggers in the world because we're kind of new to it. But we really hope you enjoyed them because we enjoyed filming them. And I didn't quite realise that we'd end up doing like five, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, so I'll also be doing a blog post about Orlando and like, what we got up to and that kind of stuff. So keep your eyes out for that if you're interested in seeing it. If you've ever really got it up, I'll pop the link down below. So I hope you're all good. I hope you had a good a couple of weeks and I'll see you soon with my monthly favourites video. Bye.